Now, let's look at how we can load more plans into the SQL plan baselines. Because previously, in our source database, we collected all those good plans and put them into a SQL tuning set. Now, we can take the plans from the SQL tuning set, put them into the baseline, and because it is plans that you provide, the database assumes that it's a good plan and it's automatically accepted. What if you have literals? SQL plan management and an application that uses literals is really not a good fit because you simply get too many distinct statements. Could you set cursor sharing equals false? No. I won't try to describe it because if you follow the link in the slides, the real world performance team has some really good arguments as to why this is not a good idea. If you have literals, SQL profiles is the option you can do because it has false matching. But really the optimal solution is to change your application to use binds. Not only will it make SQL plan management work, it'll also make a lot of other good things to your database. Now a use case for upgrade and migrations and SQL plan management. In this situation, we have our source database running on 11.204 and I capture all my good plans into a SQL tuning set. In my test database, I identify the regress statements and I tune it and come up with good plans. And I put those in my SQL tuning set as well. I then load plans from the SQL tuning set into my production database. And I can do it very selectively. I can specify one specific SQL ID and one plan hash value and only load that specific plan into my baseline. This is a really good use case to ensure plan stability. But finally, let's compare the options that we have to ensure plan stability. SQL plan management, SQL profiles, and SQL patches. Now the interesting parts, I think, are the last two rows. First, plan guarantee. SQL plan management is the only option you have that will guarantee you that only one specific plan is used for your SQL. In addition, if you look at the maintenance row, the last row, you will see that with SQL plan management, you can do automatic evolve. You can let the database test execute the new plans and only use those that are found to be better. Whereas with profiles and patches, you over time has to manually expect your profile and patch to determine whether or not they are still suitable for that specific SQL. If you all of a sudden load 10x the amount of data into that table, you might have to revisit your profile and patch to ensure that they are still fit for that statement. <laughs>